Now, I found an arrowhead in Evans Field once, but never a baby in a crater. It's really weird. But what's even weirder is the way Clark is with him. <laughs> Let me guess. He's completely baby-phobic. Actually, exactly the opposite. You should see the look in his eyes when he's holding that baby. It's like he's completely at ease. Not to mention, he's a natural-born baby burper. Hmm. I've got the spit-up stains to prove it. Sorry I'm late. I was up all night with a crying machine. Every time I put him down, he starts up again. Well, if you need any help, I could come over tonight. Well, that would be great. Uh, could you pick up some formula on the way? Sure. How are you on diapers? The diapers? Pretty good. Oh, okay. Before you guys start picking out the schools for the little tyke, you might uh, want to hear this. I had my uh, contact at emergency services run a check of all the 911 calls made around the time that you found the baby. And this one kind of stuck out. What the matter with you people? This, this is an emergency! Oh, it's too late! It's coming! It's going up! She sounds so scared. No! No, don't leave me, please! What, did he, did he just leave her there? If he did, he might still be alive. From the sounds of this, the mother wasn't as lucky. She didn't even get to see her own baby. But the baby survived. How is that possible? Can you trace this call back to the cell phone? I can try. If this is the father, he might have some answers for us. <laughs>